Yo, what's up? It's Mike. And this video has been a long time in the coming. Long time in the coming. This video has been a long time coming. If you've been with me, you know about my camera journey, uh, finding a perfect everyday camera. There really is no perfect camera, but I wanted a camera that fit my needs, that was perfect for me. So that journey took me down a rabbit hole of upgrading my Fuji X100F. And my X100F is a beautiful camera. I absolutely love that camera, but it's a little old. Uh, the autofocus is definitely not reliable. Another thing that's going on with my X100F is my optical viewfinder doesn't work anymore. Um, the little shade that comes up to give you EVF and OVF, it stopped working. Uh, I did try to get the X100V at one point, but it was like on serious crazy back order. And then the X106 dropped and it's also on serious crazy back order. So those were pretty much out. But I did pick up an X-T5 and an X-T50. And I made videos about why I did not ultimately choose those cameras. I went back to the drawing board and I stumbled on what I feel is the perfect everyday camera for me. And it could be the perfect everyday camera for you too. And that camera is the Sony a7C II. I absolutely love this camera. I went with the all black. Most people go with the silver, but I wanted to go black. I just, you know, I really like the look of the all black Fuji. So I went with all black for, for this one. And I gotta say, I, I think the black is more sexy than silver. I, I just do. So I wish Sony had made the silver version all silver. The two-tone is dope, but I, I think if it was all silver, that would have been really cool. But the black is, is sexy. The reasons that I chose this camera over the other cameras are pretty, pretty simple reasons. There, there aren't crazy. There aren't a crazy amount of reasons why I chose it. The first reason, and probably the best reason that I chose the A7C2 over one of the Fujis, is that I'm already heavily invested into the Sony ecosystem. So I have an A7S3 that I do most of my video work with, and I also have an A7 IV. And that brings me over to another reason why I chose the A7C2 over the Fujis. And that's autofocus. L let's just be 100 right now. You know, as much as I love Fuji and I love what they're doing over there, the autofocus is not good. It's, it's, it's decent, right? It's very decent, but it's not reliable. And that was the reason why I didn't choose the X-T5. And then I tried the X-T50, hoping that maybe it would be better because there was a software update put out to help with autofocus. And it just wasn't where I wanted it to be. So for me, if I'm going to be spending the money on the Fuji system, I really want the autofocus to be reliable. I don't want to go in spending $2,000 on a camera knowing that the autofocus is subpar, especially in 2024. Like, like, come on, we got, we, we all got to step it up, right? So one of the reasons why I was looking at Fuji was because they are so much smaller than my a7 IV. My a7 IV isn't a huge camera, but after a while of lugging it around, it kind of gets a little heavy and it gets a little cumbersome taking it in and out of bags because it's kind of tall. So compared to the a7C II, it's really the same exact size as my Fuji X100F. The only, only difference is the Fuji has an integrated lens and the Sony, you have to add the lens. I ended up picking up a Zeiss 35 millimeter F 2.8 and I love it. While it's not as small as the X100F or X100V or six, it's relatively about the size of a Leica Q. So it's in that same family. The other reason why I chose the Sony over the Fuji is because the Sony's full frame. Now I'm not trying to knock a diss to people who love crop sensors. Crop sensors are great. I definitely like a crop sensor, especially when I want to get a lot more reach, but let's be real. Full frame is better. It's bigger. It's better in low light. It's better with autofocus. It's just better. That doesn't mean go out and throw away your crop sensor cameras. They're very usable and they're very good cameras and they're a lot smaller usually than your full frame equivalent. But if I can get a camera that's the same size as the Fuji and it's got full frame, I'm definitely going for the full frame. Okay, so the last reason that I chose the Sony over the Fuji is probably the most controversial reason. And that's because of Sony colors. I know, I know. I know, I know, everybody's probably going crazy right now, but I am going on record saying Sony has great colors. So much so that I mainly shoot the A7C2 straight out of camera. Like, seriously, most of the work that I do on this camera is straight out of camera. And I just, I just want you to know, Sony's colors are not as bad as people think they are. Now, now, 
I had the Sony a7 II and the Sony a7 III. And those colors were not good at all. I, I can admit, those Sony colors, whew, man, it's a lot of post work. And I think that's one of the things that people knock on Sony. Yes, they have amazing autofocus, but the colors are lacking. And you really have to edit everything. Like, there isn't a really fast workflow for it. But these new sensors and the Sony's new colors, they're way, way different. And I've actually developed a recipe for it. I'm going to give you that recipe because I'm not trying to gatekeep. And it works for me in the style that I like. It might work for you, but it's always worth a try. And if you don't like it, that's fine. If you do, use it. Here's the recipe. I'm going to splash it on the screen so you can see it. Now, this only works on the newer Sony cameras. The older Sony cameras have creative styles, and that's a little bit different than the creative look. Just like Fuji recipes, the Sony recipes are definitely not the same as film. They're, they're not meant to replace film in any way, but they are meant to give you a better straight out of camera experience. So that's it. And that's the reason why I chose the Sony a7C2 over the Fuji X100V, X106, X-T50, and the X-T5. Now, am I saying that this is the perfect camera for everybody? No. If you like Fuji, you like Fuji. If you like Sony, you like Sony. And that's all I got. Peace.